What is a self-tape audition and how should you film your first audition or at least the first one that actually looks professional? A self-tape audition is an audition that you are going to film at home. Usually you get requested to do a self-tape audition because you submit yourself on a casting website or somebody wants you to audition for their project and you can even film a scene or a monologue using the same format if you want to use it as a temporary reel to be able to show people your abilities and be able to submit to more projects. In the self-tape audition request that they sent you, you're going to have some information, and at the very, very least, you're going to have the script, what you're going to perform. Those are referred to as sides. If they would like you to do a slate, they're going to say it in the request, and the slate is just an introduction of yourself, and it can be as basic as, hi, I'm Belgica Rodriguez. And just your slate can get as complicated as, Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez. I'm based out of Burbank, 510. I'm fully vaccinated and boosted, and I'm fluent in Spanish as it was my first language. Now to set up and do your self-tape audition, you're going to need your phone. Your phone is a great place to record your audition as long as the camera lens is not cracked and you're gonna need somewhere to put your phone on. So you can either use a tripod or if you really just wanna use whatever you have at home because this is your first time auditioning and you didn't even have a clue you were gonna be doing this today, Find a bookshelf or something high where you can put your phone eye level because you wanna make sure that it's a good position. You're gonna to wanna to have a blank backdrop, completely blank, a quiet room that's not too echoey, and then a light source. So this can be natural lighting or if you have a bunch of lights in your home, you can turn them all on. If you have a few days before you need to send in the self-tape audition, let me help you out. Get a tripod because your first self-tape ever is going to be so frustrating. Honestly, a lot of them are gonna be frustrating until you start getting the hang of them, but having a tripod is going to make your life so much easier because you're gonna be able to put your phone exactly where you need it. If you are in the position to start um, leveling up a little bit and you wanna purchase maybe a light or a backdrop or something, there's a temporary, it's while supplies last, um, self-tape kit that Casting Workbook is selling. This is not sponsored, but I do get a portion of the sales, just so you know. I'm just sharing it because it is a really good deal. Um, I've talked about this in the past. It's a ring light, a few tripods, and a backdrop. And the backdrop is blue and gray, and I think it's a really good deal. If you're in the US, it's $72 with the code, but without the code, it's $240. It's an extremely good deal if you want to buy a whole kit. The backdrop will need a little bit of steaming just so you can get all the wrinkles out, but I think for your very first self-tape kit, it is really good. And then later, if you want to invest in some other backdrops, I really love these Savage Paper backdrops because they always look good. You never have to steam them or anything. And what you're gonna spend the most money on is going to be the stand to get a nice sturdy stand that won't wobble around but let's go back to whatever you have at home today. For your self-tape audition, you do wanna find somewhere that is completely blank behind you. The color doesn't really matter right now, but if you can find a white wall or something that's not too distracting or doesn't make your skin color or whatever you're wearing look crazy, then just find a blank wall like this. And you wanna make sure your camera is eye level. Mm -mm. No. The number one thing you can do to show people that you're a newbie is to film your audition vertical. If you do that, you're, you're just telling them like, oh, I really, I don't know what I'm doing. And I didn't read the directions because they usually include that in the directions. Like, please, for the love of God, film it horizontally. And then as far as your framing, you can have a little bit of space above you just so that they're able to see, you know, the, <laughs> the shape of your head. And then you can either do like this showing a little bit of your chest or you can go a little bit further back and show a little bit of your waist. Okay, that is way too far. You might one day have to film an audition vertically, but in my experience, I've only had to do that when I'm auditioning for an ad that's going to be shown on TikTok or Instagram. Otherwise, if it's theatrical, 99.99% .99 of the time, they're gonna be begging and hoping that everybody sends an audition horizontally. 
If your room is super, super echoey, there's a few things you can do. You can put blankets or jackets all on the floor, or you can invest in a really cheap microphone that you can attach right to your phone. And then your third option is to edit the audio and post. As far as editing your audition, you do not have to say your entire audition all at once, like your slate and then the first scene and then the second scene. No, it's okay to shoot a few slates and then a few of the first scene, second scene, and then when you're editing it, you can cut it so that you choose the best ones and put them together. To edit your videos, you can do it for free on iMovie or Adobe Rush on your phone, and I have a video here on how I edit myself tapes to make them look more professional.